Hey guys, what's up? It's both your one and only, and today we're gonna be checking out the new update. Aren't you guys excited? I don't have music on, by the way. I, I completely forgot about that, but we're gonna get in, see what's new. Oh my god, the big update is finally here. It actually didn't take all that long as I was thinking it would. So, oh, oh my god, um, broken text. Wait, what? Hold on. Excuse me. So they're already teasing the next characters which are the elves are they constantly just going through like all of them and catching us up i think so okay so they gave us these for free but the last two we actually have to farm for which is bonnie and christopher i guess they knew that everybody was gonna try and get these two max already a hundred arenas? Jesus Christ. Well, um, okay then. Oh, I should probably turn the music on. It's kind of awkward with it being quiet. No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Plus, they probably got some new songs in there. Probably. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I kind of like that song. A little bit. Right, hold on. Go back. Defend your castle you built as defense party. The matchmaking. Oh, whoops. So I guess we're going to... Go ahead and participate. Uh, these guys are going to be placeholders for now. I wonder if it's like fully locked to that team. Oh, nah. Nah. Hold on. I'm just going to trade that out. And for now... Everybody's voting the overlords. Oh wow, Clay already has a down vote? I mean, Clay's PvP. I guess somebody tried to use her in PvE. Let's see what some stupid comment somebody wrote. Like I said, there will be stupid comments all the, all the time. He's talking about her breasts, are you kidding me? Anywho, I might actually up Francis right now. So there's one I'm not really worried about. I think it's Francis and the other three that I have to farm for just to get. We already talked about their skills and everything, so you guys already know all about that. Oh, we can get her to max already. Good. We have enough to max another one whenever we get the last thing we need. Question is, do I want to ultimate her, her right now? Because I can convert some of these over. Let's see, let's see. Hold up. What do I want to do here? It's been a while since I've made an Archer character for sure. Additional boss damage. And all that. Um, I'll save it off for now. For now. My world boss queen. Alright, hold on. Let me go ahead and put her inside of the Archer formation. We can go ahead and take out Llewellyn since we don't ever use her anymore, unfortunately. Who do I really do enjoy with Llewellyn? Okay. She's a little bit lag today. Wait, what? This is our... I'm pretty sure this is not a Gears. 
Oh, they put, um... They put, uh, little gears on them. The free gears. That are supposed to help you grind and stuff. Without leveling them. But without farming the gear. Yeah, no, we're good. We don't need those. What stats do these things have? Huh. They have the average stats most DPS have. So you guys can take a look at a little bit of detail of how to build them. I apologize for the lag, though. Dragon Blazes. Been like this for a while. But then again, I think it's probably just Nox. I'm still thinking about switching over to blue stacks. But that requires a lot of transferring, let's just say that. Uh, let's go for replacing... Hmm. Actually, a difficult one. Considering I'm using Archer now, I have, I'll have two Archers. Hmm... Oh yeah, we didn't even see the changes that uh, Ren went through. We have a lot of farming to do, especially for these two. Jeez. So, do we even have our relationship buffs off that? Where is... Are they really all the way down here? Jesus Christ. Okay, so you need Christopher and Bonnie just to max out these. Or to get these done. I'm definitely going to max Christopher and Bonnie. I don't think I'm going to actually rush into ultimating them right now. Right now, at least. I still have all these. I have not been using them. Definitely looking forward to the whole guild battle thing. Not sure how that's going to go, but we'll, we'll see. We'll definitely see. So we're seeing everybody else's team who are joining in. This is Castle 1. We need one more defender. Now we don't have an enemy yet, so what's the rewards for this? Yeah, I like how we're going to catch up to that tier. But the rewards are actually pretty decent, depending on what um, type your guild is. It draws, you don't really get anything. Castle Sieges, you get reward. How many defense you get, you get rewards too. Okay, I don't know why to change my team for this, so... I definitely did not have you... Why? What? What? Is this changing for my main team? I feel like it is for some reason. I want her inside there. Yeah, it's literally cha I have to keep this team for that. Ah, well, actually, never mind. I can do that. Uh, I was thinking too far into it. Let me go ahead and grab this first. We're going to take a look at a few other things. We still have the guild exploration right there. We're going to go over here and... Well, I was going to say look at the arc buster, but we can't really do that since I don't really have the stuff for it. So somebody else will show you, show you more than likely, hopefully. Actually, where do I, where's I going? Oh yeah, 
Oh, okay, it took me a while to figure out what I was going to do. So now instead of converting like multiple souls into that, we shall be converting. Yeah, we convert up to five. Now we convert up to one. So I wanted to convert Jesus all these souls. Can I lower the number? Oh, this converts to somebody else. Okay, there we go. We do get a number, and it is quite a lot, too. But if you've been playing a while, it's not too much for you. But after a while, it can definitely have a heavy impact on your gold. Well, I don't really need warriors right now, since I'm not making any warriors. So I might throw them towards my assassin. What else? What else? Since I'm not really going to get her to ultimate right now, I could throw it... I can throw it to my priest. I actually really like this system, for sure. And Cantor, I'm going to... Well, I was going to ultimate Aaron, but... Nah, we're, we're going to save that off. Just for now. I'm going to use that. Okay, that's enough. You have a lot of Paladin. This is definitely going to be way easier to, like, upgrade your overlords. We also do have this. Who else do we need for... For our relationship buffs? That's what I need to know. I would get the characters, but I want to max out all this. Got that done. Got this done. So we need to start working on. Actually. We could max promo. Yeah, we could max prom. We could. Huh. We could also max this too. We get my gala. Um, geez, actually, a difficult choice. Or we can go ahead and start working on these two. What else would they go to, though? I'm not just going to max them if they're not going to travel to multiple. I think Hellhawk is only to one. Yeah, it seems like he's only. Yeah, he's only to, like, one relationship buff. That's weird. Well, personally, I'm going to have to go with, um... Falcon. Oh, wait. God damn it. Ah, hold on. Let me, let me actually think on that. Just because of multiple reasons... I already have like a little bit of power up from them but the thing is if there's another empty slot I will probably buy into that if there's a lot of them if not then yeah never mind I have wait I have all of the uh, transcend okay then I just need to start maxing all right that works with me so Falcon it is we got our expert missions over here too Yep, give me that. Thank God I didn't have to waste like resources creating them. That saves me like 300 essence. Oh wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I literally thought it went to my bag or something. Dude, I'm out of it. We just finished streaming and I'm now recording, so yeah. <laughs> Where is... He's up here. Is 
There he is. Come here, Falcon. What's going on in exploration? Okay, so they dug up those. I'm gonna go... Alright, so they found the bosses for those. Oh wait, no. This this is like the preview. <laughs> Whoops. So we have a bomb that we could throw down. This compass. Okay, bombs and x-rays. So, they, so the x-ray pretty much gives you like a small location to where you can see things. The bomb just destroys more. The compass. We discover a compass through exploration. It will point you to where the boss is. So you can go directly to the boss and fight him. My god, look at all those delicious rewards. Oh dear god. These guys have fought all the bosses, haven't they? I'm so confused about this. It definitely went through all the rewards, or most of the rewards. So this is what the guild's getting as they as we complete it. Individual rewards though. Is what everybody else is getting. Just for doing all this. Alright, hold up. So am I even in the right place? I'm gonna be honest with you, this one's this does look confusing as hell. Zoom out, please. Thank you. That is really annoying. Alright, so we we're just fighting these guys. I should have went back to my archer. if we would have had a better like loadout for this all right let's fight it it's weird that I went back to the main menu song though Jesus. Well, this is... I'm about to say this is a normal one, so it's not going to be, like, really difficult. So we're just going to be one-shotting everything. Okay, so yeah, we're already targeting the bar the bosses. Supposed to be killing them all. Use all of your um, picks. It's pretty much what it is. Everybody found all the loot boxes and everything. I guess they used up all their attacks to the point where they can't uh, fight the bosses. Alright, so if we beat all these, do we just automatically go to the next stage? That's what I'm curious about since there's like three bosses here. Alright, one more. Or maybe they haven't found the floor yet. Jeez, there is a lot of things we have to do. I think I'm just going to sit my... Um... Okay, that's what it is. Oh, I found the boss. Okay, that was easy.
but I think I'm going to sit my game on auto PvP. You should be able to do a lot of damage and kill this thing actually pretty easy. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully they show me how much damage everybody's doing. I'm hoping. Oh my god, look at all that bleed. Almost there. We didn't even need anybody else's help. But it's pretty much like a its own guild boss is what I see. It's pretty much like guild adventure. But you're actually exploring. <laughs> there we go. Then I can head down the floor. Nice. Okay, I get it. So now we have a bomb that we can use. All right, did we find an Xbox? Yes, we did. Let's go ahead and fight him too. All right. I think I'm gonna switch over to my archer right after this. Just cause I feel like we could do more damage, especially since my team is mostly physical in the first place. So yeah, that would definitely be the best idea right now. Let's see if we can finish him below a minute. Oh, yep. We're doing a lot of damage, so we should be able to. So I wonder who's doing the most damage. That's the thing. Like, I want to say Francis, but... There we go. He's dead. Hey, what message? What message does it send? No. Oh, well. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all I'm going to show for that one. Uh, let me change to my archer right quick. It, the only thing that really sucks is that um, this boss is still up, so I can't really... So I can't really do it in like, like a world boss. Because this world boss is um, arc buster. I'll do one later. I'll probably just do like a separate video and just throw it in with this. Okay, so everything you get inside there, you it's already given to you. Let's see, what can we do? Hmm. Oh, lead battles here. Okay, so I can't go up here. I gotta be in normal for now. Put you in there. You. 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 And you. Now let's just put Francis in there just because... <laughs> So, they'll automatically match me up with others to fight, and my teams will pretty much go in there and just beat the crap out of everybody. Alright then. 
Waiting for a league. Alright, what else? What else? Doesn't seem like anything else has really changed. So we're gonna be done with that. Oh, hold on. There is one thing I want to check. I want to check shop. Coin shop. What? What is in you? There we go. We they removed all the useless jewels and kept the good ones. But they do have new new accessories that we can use. A lot of new accessories actually. That's a lot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know there's a lot more to this update, but I don't nearly think I can look at everything else at the moment. I definitely want to use Bonnie and um, Christopher, but here's the thing. We're going to wait. This is just going to be like part one recording, and I'll record the rest in the morning. Right now, I'm going to go auto farm um, Arena. Then, later on, I'm going to auto farm um, Challenge Dungeon. Then we're going to get both get Christopher and Bonnie. And by that time, the world, the new world boss should be up. I also want to take a look at this. What's what's in here? Alright, so you get another arc. Okay. Purchase them. Wait, whoa, hold on. Who me to go in here and purchase... A metal? I have enough for it. The game most likely thought I didn't. For sure, because I'm always in here. That's a lot of metals to be using. That's all I gotta tell you. That's way too many, too many metals to be using. Thanks for the shoes, though. Oh, oh well, yeah, we can definitely do that. All right, now that I have my actual team, and you guys have nothing better to do but watch me get through this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Actually, you're magic, aren't you? Now that I think about it, yeah, you're you're from magic teams, I think. Even though it's really confusing. Considering we don't know if the, your summons are physical or magic. Pretty sure they're physical. If anybody could confirm that for me, if her summons are physical damage, I want to hope that they are. <laughs> Where is she? There you are. I want to keep you in. Just because of multiple reasons of... I want to see how much damage you do towards the dragon as soon as we get there. Wait, no, not that. Uh, formation. And we're going to throw you out. Now this team sit in. What's the formation look like? Yeah, okay, that's that's fine. That is fine. But we have the rest of you guys sitting in helpers. Would I also like to? All right, let's go in. So these are pretty short. Uh, I don't think they've changed anything about this. Thank God for the skip button, because that story is actually pretty long. Well, decently long, let's say that. I'm definitely looking forward to see how much damage they do. I got a full physical team going. Well, until I get Bonnie, then we'll have a full physical team going. If you replace Shin.
This is gonna be fun. Unless some people get impatient and just be like, you know what, screw farming for Bonnie and Christopher and just straight up build them like some insane maniacs. <laughs> really hoping that these guys get costumes like the first Overlords did. Well, I hope the rest of them get costumes like the first Overlords did. Because sadly, the second wave didn't get any. Okay, I think the audio just screwed up in here. Well, we broke the audio, guys. <laughs> 10 out of 10, broke, breaking the audio. I am saving this. Just, just because when the bonus damage starts rolling, then you can definitely see how much damage they do. If they do a lot of damage, then... That's pretty much perfect for us. Jesus, game, are you alright? I, I hear you trying to get the music to work. They're trying really hard. Yeah, we're just gonna use the show here. I know they'll survive, but just in case. I want to use this team for it. All right, here comes the dragon. You guys hear it? A little skipping. <laughs> Hopefully, they'll be fine. I, I, I see you lose a little bit of HP there. Rin, live, dude. No, I see you guys HP dropping. Live. I didn't realize this was the final wave, so that's kind of my bad. There we go. Definitely. Oh my god, that score is definitely going up. Maybe this will outdo my old score. If it does, this is definitely a way better team. At least I'm hoping that I'll be my own score. It's been a while since I've actually just sat here and talked to you guys, haven't it? Hasn't it? Especially when it comes to like Dragon Blades. It's been a while since we had like interesting content come in. Especially for those of us who haven't played the like Korean version, which most of us never really touched the Korean version at all. But another thing we need to do is go through all the Overlord's ultimate abilities now. And that's one thing we need to go back and do. So I'll probably do that through another video, like a separate video, this week. Alright, yeah, this is definitely a way higher score. Oh my god, I pre-take. Let me get out of here, because I'm pretty sure the game is just destroying itself. There we go. The music's fixed. All right, what else do you want me to... Oh, well, that, that pretty much stops us there. <laughs> I want to see how long the abilities are. So apparently Rin got a rebalance. We don't really... I don't really think they gave us information on that, of what they changed and what they didn't change. In the future, I'll definitely be up and rent because he becomes like really powerful in the future, especially when he gets arc. So he's worth building to arc. So yeah, we'll we'll definitely look at the um, ultimate abilities in the next video.
right now, I think I'm going to call this one the first recording, and we'll start up later on, whenever the day resets itself. So like I said, I'm going to go arena, and you guys will wait until then. Well, you guys will see the video, so yeah. Until then, be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. And... Yeah, we got them all max. We got all three of them max. Um, I am going to ultimate one, but this is this is now our essence. So yeah, we need a hundred, no, a thousand and nine hundred transcended essence just to get them into ultimate. I have the souls, but I just don't have the essence now. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be fun. Uh, I think I'm gonna ultimate Bonnie first before I touch the others. Just for that extra, you know, boss damage boost. All right. The moment of truth is actually here. Here's the team I'm going to be running. Uh, let's see my past scores. Uh, what they are? Oh, no, they erased my old, my old scores. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do something right quick. Let's do this let's run our old team here let's run this first then I'll see you guys in a few seconds and we'll get get an actual score out of this just because I, I don't like that they erase my scores I was gonna start comparing and everything but yeah let's do this first all right guys we're coming to the end of the run here we only got like a few seconds left I went back to my encanter because that's who I remember running this with and the only reason I remember I was running this team with Encanters just because I had this on, this formation. So, yeah, I I mean, I wasn't running it with Archer because, yeah, I could definitely not pull up that team without two mag D magic DPSs. So, yeah. It was definitely Encanter I was running. And it turns out that they've restarted, like, all of your raids uh, points. So you don't have your previous points anymore. You have to you're working on like a completely new slate when it comes to like boss raid and you know your highest damage so Kai did the whole did the most damage I normally call him Rin because that's originally what his name was in the Korean version I believe but I've just gotten used to calling him Rin all right I'm gonna go back over to Miacha just because I want to run it with Archer <laughs> Uh, we will definitely get back into the story because we do, I believe we do have more story that we can go into now. And I've been looking forward to get back into Dragon Blaze's story. It seems like this is going to be, well, I was going to say it's going to be our last piece of story. Yeah, I think it is our last piece of story because we finished this going to here. Then we go into the next chapter because they've already told us that another chapter is available. So yeah, we got a, quite a bit of story to go through again, which is fun, you know? I don't know why I went all the way back there, but we did. Maybe we just wanted to see Bell. <laughs> Alright, so let me go ahead and get my team situated. And I I don't know if I'm going to skip ahead. We're going we're gonna to see the damage increase. Nothing but 10 minutes. You guys can skip to the end of the video. I mean, the first run clearly was just going to be like a waste a little bit. Throw you on there. Throw you. Throw you here. And clearly they have us using the wrong formation. Where is... Far all at once. Okay, there it is. All right, they're in their places. You're in your place. And here we go. Let's see how much damage we do compared to our encounter team that we used. So I guess in the meantime, I'll just talk about um, how I feel about the overlords already. I mean, they're actually pretty strong. These The fleet is something else for sure. 
and right off the bat we're already doing a lot more damage than my cancer team because I remember yep uh -huh, we're definitely gonna pass that score I definitely want to get Bonnie to ultimate first just because she gets a really really good buff for the physical teams Bonnie's more of like PvP focus for sure but she can be extremely strong inside of PvE yeah, we're definitely going to be boosting past our old score. Um, I believe it was around like... Well, you guys saw. It was around like... Nearly a trio? Nearly a trillion? But... Nah, we didn't quite make it there. Pretty sure with this team, we'll make it there and... And more. Um... I'm not sure if they're going to release... But like I said, I'm not sure if they're going to release like the changes they made to the characters or the rebalancing that they went through. I definitely didn't see anything about it. I would probably have to check on the forums and see if they have updated us about it or anything. Because they definitely did not put it on um, patch notes. I won't lie, I kind of hate how they put Chris, Christopher and Bonnie on missions <laughs> when they know... Bonnie and uh, Christopher are probably the strongest overlords out of this, for sure. Especially Christopher. I definitely want to see the damage at the end of this. I want to see who does the most. Because you never know, it could be between France, Francis or Christopher. We, I definitely want to see that. And before it turns out to be Bonnie or something. <laughs> that would be weird. I definitely can't wait to see this. But then again, we got all our buffs cycling through. And I can definitely say Archer has started to replace Encanter inside of PvE. Especially during like Guild Adventure, because I've noticed I started using her way more and she's been way stronger than Encanter. Even though Encanter still overall for everything else. Archer has significantly, uh, significantly replaced Encanter inside of here. Or bosses in general, to be honest. I'm pretty sure a lot of other people have noticed it too, that a lot more people have started using them. Obviously, Paladin is still pretty much stronger than anybody inside of a um, guild loot or guild siege would you get the extra damage along with um, Naya so Naya and Paladin teamed up together can destroy um, can really destroy guild loot I think everybody forgot, forgot that Paladin existed and just stopped using them for some reason for some odd reason. And as you guys see, we doubled our score. Actually tripled our score. Yeah, this team is definitely working out. So I showed you guys the old team I used to use and compared to this new team that I'm using now. So, so yeah. I'm just gonna go out on the limb and say it's Christopher that's doing all the damage and Francis coming in second. And Kai coming in third. And Aaron coming in fourth. And I'm not gonna say my archer. I'm pretty sure my archer is probably last compared to Teehee. <laughs> but Teehee could also be last too, but I'm not sure which one their damage is gonna be. But I'm sure Bonnie's above both of them considering she's one of those um healers that can actually fight back yeah we made, we made it to a trillion and we could probably make it to two trill just because uh we made it to the half timer around that so yeah i definitely tripled my score off that or quadruple whichever one and this boss clearly still can't kill me yet. 
I don't think any war boss can actually kill me except for the um, Two Face. Yeah, he's the only one who can kill me right now. Well, that and Tower. Tower can kill me easy. Just because Tower is legit Tower. <laughs> tower validation in this game is retardedly powerful. I'm pretty sure you, it's one of those things where you have to make it in like one run. Because if you get stopped on like one part of the tower, you're going to have like a huge problem trying to get out of it. Just because everything's going to one shot you before you even do anything. So, yeah. I, I would appreciate them giving me a head start before the enemy started attacking me inside a tower. That'd be amazing. So I can get all my buffs out there. So they don't one shot me right off the bat. Holy crap. And also, I it turns out I do remember the character that was on the special login. It was Lee. I've seen Lee inside of the elves, so yeah, Lee is literally the next batch of overlords, which are, I cannot pronounce their names, their family tree, or whatever the hell this is. Let's just say I can't, I can't pronounce their little faction, because it's like really weird. I think it's French or something, something. but they are elves. And those are the next facts to Overlords, so I'm guessing that they are rushing us up to Korean version. So we could be seeing Majesties sooner than we thought. So they're just rushing through content at the moment, trying to catch us up. But to be honest, I'm kind of fine with it, considering that they're giving us all these rewards and giving us the characters for free. That I'm completely fine with. It's just that building and wasting our resources every single time is pretty much annoying. And really doesn't help us get anywhere. So yeah, this is definitely going to help us, you know, expand a little bit faster. But to be honest, all the essence I had were essence before this event came in. And this event just added on to that. I had like three dollars before this event started, and by the time these guys came out, I have I had like five thousand going on six thousand. So they gave me an extra three thousand to two thousand thanks to the event. I don't think we're gonna uh, actually make it to two trill, but. I think that's fine because we've made a huge amount of progress just off that. We got a little bit more time on that than we would. And plus, he's getting more and more um, strength debuff, so he's resisting us more and more too. Off this resist buff too. So yeah, he's trying to take less, less and less damage from us. Which is always fun. But now, we get to see who was the one causing all the damage. So you guys can see who's pretty decent at max. Let's see. You would think it would be Francis, considering she's more focused towards world boss. But Christopher is also a DPS house. So, let's see. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, who is it? Oh my God, it was actually neither of them. So Kai, after his rebalance, has done that much damage. Dude, feels freaking bad. <laughs> So, like I said, Kai is actually going to be really strong in the future when he gets um, his arc. So, that just proves that. And Francis came in 
third, clearly just because of her, you know, extra buffs and stuff. Aaron still a force to be reckoned with. And Bonnie is the last just because she's healer. And plus, her buffs definitely help this whole situation. Pretty sure her buffs are going to help even more. But as you guys can see, Kai was the one who came on top. Jesus, man. Just proving them all that you're still here to stay. Nobody's going to replace you. <laughs> Can't wait to see it inside of um, Guild Adventure, though, because Guild Adventure is going to be a different stage. But sadly, Guild Adventure doesn't tell us who's doing the most damage and stuff like that. If Guild Adventure did that, I would be happy. Or maybe they have changed it to where it does that. Because I definitely want to see such a thing. I wonder. Is there a way to... Okay, yeah, there it is. Just wonder if they put Guild Adventure in here or something. But nah. Oh, Guild Adventure is definitely going to be interesting. Because it, since it's going to be like the whole day thing. And it's going to be competing with your against your guild members. Instead of like working with your guild members. It's going to be pretty weird. I, I do want to try one more thing. Yep. And it is... Tag. Where's Christopher? We're going to replace you with her. And we're going to place you with her. Just to see how this goes. Actually, hold up. We're actually going to put you inside of here, just because you can survive a few hits. And as for here, we're going to throw you in there. Alright, let's see if we get any strong people. Hopefully we do. But they got to do 30 of these. Okay, nope. The reason I put the stun on Chris is just because... I want him to be able to use this too. There we go, he has all his buffs. Ah, but she's gonna stun back. But it's a healer. Like I keep telling you guys, stop bringing healers into tag. It doesn't work. Christopher's literally just going to be sitting here chilling, tanking damage. Just because this Momo won't be able to do damage to him. So, yeah, a weaker Momo. So, that feels bad. And plus, my Christopher's way stronger than this whole team. Nope. Denied. Well, now that I think about it, Frances was also increasing damage, wasn't she? Just because of her, um, one of her buffs she uses. So she was actually increasing, um, Kai as well. There we go. Let's see how this goes. Just stunning you until your visibility runs off. Matt's Christopher versus Miyu. Who wins? Miyu should win but just because she has way more damage. And plus she's invisible. So. Well, actually doesn't look like that. Will you guys get off him over there in the corner? Jeez. Bond should de Band should definitely win. Just because of that. 
Well, it doesn't really work if you stun him, though. I don't know why people put stun on Fan, because that literally makes him waste one of his um, skills. Okay, let's see. Nope, she's dead. Okay, then. Alright, there he goes. Let's see how much damage you do. Christopher, keep hitting him. One more. Alright, see? Ban is still a force to be reckoned with just because of that one skill. I'm pretty sure that's his three. But without it, he's still pretty much dead. <laughs> Alright, let's do one more with Francis. Let's we'll see what Francis can do. <laughs> Alright, Francis, let's see what you can do compared to them. Are you, are you gonna die or live? That's the main question. You'll probably die. Oh, or not. Oh, yeah, you're definitely gonna die to Ban, though. Just because he's in his three. Well, not unless you stall. Are you literally just going to stall him? <laughs> Rude. She literally just stalled his three until it was gone. Cut. One more hit, and... She could be dead. Yep. Obviously, this is just for fun. <laughs> Because it's been a while since I've done tag. I'm kind of being forced to do it again, though. Just because of the whole... Hey, do 30 victories inside of tag. Whole thing going on with the expert missions. Which is really annoying to force me to back into PvP. I wish you wouldn't force me back into PvP, but... What can I say? Oh, look, there he goes. Did Kai just come out of... Um... Kai just came out of unable to be revived. What? That is so weird. What, what was that? Like, I thought he was dead at first. He just came out of it. Just like, yeah, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> But yeah, obviously Kai, Kai's rebalance has made him like way, way stronger, which I love. I'm so happy to have him. But I actually might go through with the ultimate on him. Seeing his performance and how much they've actually changed him. I don't know what they've changed, but they definitely have changed, have changed him. So, hold on, let me do a quick little check on the forums and let's see if they actually ch put up a list of everything they've changed. And if they did, I will go through it right quick before we uh, actually end off. Alright guys, from what I see, it doesn't really seem like they've talked about everything they've rebalanced for each of the characters. It just seems like they just threw the rebalance on there without giving us a comparison. I guess because there's quite a lot of overlords that they had to rebalance on there. I guess that's the reason why. Which is unfortunate, but... Eh. Yeah, highly unfortunate that we don't get to actually see those. But with that said, guys, um, enjoy the update. There's a lot more things that have come to the game as well. Like, um... Daily towers increase inside of um, rewards, and also the difficulty. So that yeah, that's the thing. Oh, this is now ultimate instead of double SR. Oh, ooh, huh? I might actually start buying back into this now. It's actually worth it. Obviously, I need to buy back into these. So if it's on this day, it's. 20. 
Wait, that's weird. Is it supposed to double on this thing? Because it was talking like it was going to be... Hmm, okay. That's just weird. How much are we getting from this now? Quite a bit, quite a bit. Not a lot, but quite a bit. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my daily dungeons, and I'll see you guys on the next one. And to then, peace out. Enjoy the update. Where it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose?